To help improve your decision making, advisors need to ramp up their emotional intelligence. I'm joined today by Mark Brackett of Yale. Mark, welcome. Thank you. Talk to me a little, what is emotional intelligence? Sure, so emotional intelligence is a set of skills that involve how we process and reason with our emotions. There are five of them. The first is recognizing emotions, so reading people accurately. The second is understanding where our emotions come from, so the causes of them, like what makes us feel anger versus fear. The third is labeling, having that vocabulary. The fourth is expressing, kind of knowing how and when, different people in different contexts. And the final one is the regulation of emotion. So the strategy that we use to help us manage our own emotions, but also help other people regulate theirs. So you've done this for some time. How do you go about reading people's emotions so that you could take them through this? And how important is this? So it's important to read people's emotions accurately because emotions are signals, right? They say something is going right or something is going wrong. So for example, in the investment world, right, you're reading, you're looking at your person's fate, the person who you're working with, and paying attention to their facial expression, their body language, that's giving you a clue, right? Is this going well? Is this not going well? Right. And then hopefully you change your behavior accordingly. Right. So what are some clues you look for as you read these emotions, this body language? So eye contact, right, is an important one. Um, kind of like if you're someone's giving you that kind of glazy stare, right. you, know, <laughs> you know they're kind of probably disengaged. Um, kind of that little tapping, that kind of nervousness in terms of, you know, not kind of feeling comfortable right. with the situation. Mm -hmm. So little things like that are really helpful. So what are some practical ways that advisors can really develop this skill? You, you've done it a long time, so what's something they can do? So for example, we have one tool we call the mood meter, and it's a tool that helps you identify your feelings. For example, there's four quadrants, the yellow, the red, the blue, and the green. And yellow is high energy, positive emotions, and red are these unpleasant but high energy kind of anxiety and anger family. And then we've got the blue, which is a down, disappointed family, and the green we call the calm, content family. So knowing how you're feeling is important because emotions are signals, right? Right. They, um, for example, tell you whether or not you want to stay there or not. So if you're feeling maybe too low energy and you've got a client that's you know, a high energy person, you've got to figure out how to upregulate. If you're stressed out because the client maybe you know, have a lot of power, you've got to learn how to downregulate and get into that zone where you can kind of show that you're comfortable and confident. Are there any exercises that you recommend to help regulate that from there? There are a few. The first is just checking in, okay. basic check-in. Like before you go into a meeting, just say, you know, how am I going to feel about this meeting? How do I feel about the person? Just to label it, because what we say is if you can name it, you can tame it. The second is knowing some good strategies. So two of them are very basic. One is positive self-talk. If you catch yourself saying, this is not going to work out, and you've got to stop that and move to positive self-talk. And the second one is called positive reappraisal which really helps people to kind of shift the storyline, um, which is quite helpful. Well, that's amazing information, some great tips and ideas for advisors. Thank you so much, Mark, for taking some time to chat with us today. Sure, thank you. For Investment News, I'm Matt Ackerman.